had not had a visitor for some time and Inspector Finwick was rather lonesome and then a letter came announcing the arrival of my nephew Melvin a cute eight and a half year old they say he's a spitting image of me do right I want you to take care of the youngster he's due to arrive on the 1202 but inspector aren't there more important things for me to do than play nursemaid to some whining kid attention do right you must remember that my nephew is a Fenwick. Fenwicks do not whine. And if I ever so much as hear you use that expression again, I'm going to drum you out of the force. Yes, sir, Inspector Fenwick. Hold up. I have finally decided that the only way to beat the Mounties is to bore from within. By that I mean we will have to plant someone within the RCMP camp who will, with the nerves of steel and keen perseverance, do away with Inspector Fenwick. But Snidely, they'll recognize me. No, Homer, I wasn't thinking of you. The man I have in mind is Nasty Noogle. Oh, no, Snidely, not Nasty Noogle. Yes, Homer, things have gone too far. It's time for Nasty Noogle. We've got to get him into the mountains. There's only one problem. Nasty Noogle is only three feet tall, and you know the requirements of the mountains. I of blue, heart that's true. Snidely, Noogle's nasty. Well, of course he's nasty, but that won't keep him from getting into the mounties. It's his height. They won't accept anyone under five feet ten inches tall. But I'll think of something. Anyway, Noogle's due on the 1202. Oh, the jig's up. Dudley's here. If he sees Noogle, he'll catch on to the whole thing. Melvin! I am Dudley Do-Right, come to take you to camp. What's the matter? Oh, you don't have a balloon. Well, here. What do you make of that, Homer? Here he is, Inspector. Your little nephew, Melvin. This is my nephew? Uh, I mean, this is my nephew. My wife's side of the family. Well, 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 how's my little man? I didn't do nothing. Dudley, you know the regulations. The smoking lamp is out. It's those bad habits he's picked up in the East, Inspector. Here, Melvin, give me the nasty old cigar. Oh, 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 oh. Meanwhile, Inspector Fenwick's nephew continued to wait for someone to meet him and take him to the RCMP camp. Now, Melvin, you know you have to eat your spinach to grow up to be a big man like Dudley. I've eaten so much spinach, if you sprinkled me with water, I'd rust. Precocious little rascal, aren't you? Uh-oh, time for a Betty Bye, 7.30. Betty Bye? Oh, you're gonna get yours. Ah, 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 back in bed, you naughty boy. Meanwhile, Inspector Fenwick's nephew continued to wait for someone to meet him and take him to the RCMP camp. Oh, a ball. You want to play catch? Here, throw it to me. Boy, what an arm that lad has. Oh, you want to play cops and robbers? Bang, bang, bang. I got you. No, you didn't. Now, Dudley, you see, it isn't so bad taking care of little Melvin, is it? I wouldn't let him play with axes, though. Meanwhile, Inspector Fenwick's nephew continued to wait for someone to meet him and take him to the RCMP camp. Hey, uh, Dudley, can I use your razor? I told you, Melvin, no more bombs, revolvers, axes, or razors. But I gotta take a shave. Nonsense. Eight-and-a-half-year-old boys don't shave. As time passed, Noogle's beard grew. And Inspector Fenwick's nephew continued to wait for someone to meet him and take him to the RCMP camp. There's something strange about Melvin. He has a beard. Eight-and-a-half-year-old boys don't have beards. Ergo, he is not an eight-and-a-half-year-old boy. You mean, Dudley? That your nephew is a 40-year-old man. Then that means that I'm 97 years old, Dudley. A 97-year-old man. Can I help you back to your office, Inspector? Wait. Dudley, that's not my nephew, Melvin. That's my nephew, Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Hello, Uncle Fenwick, and goodbye. Goodbye, Melvin. My vacation's over, Uncle Fenwick. I must return home now, but don't think it hasn't been fun. Well, say hello to your mother for me. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Ms. Beckler, this wanted poster came in about a month ago. It says, be on the lookout for a man called Nasty Noogle. Anything unusual about his description? Well, he smokes cigars, carries an axe, a revolver, and a bomb. Oh, and he's three feet tall. You know, the usual description. Just another face in the crowd, eh, Dudley? <laughs>
Let's face it, watching hidden cameras take down Hollywood stars is just plain fun. So get in on the jokes as Aston Kutcher pranks the rich and famous on Fucked. Weekdays at 5 and 5.30 on Coffee TV.